Our next guest is a professional dating coach who wants to help you, yes you, find love. Joining us this morning is Bella Gandhi. She's the founder of the Smart Dating Academy and host of podcasts of the same name. Bella, thank you so much for joining us. It's so great to be here. I'm excited. I am too because everybody knows someone who's dating or maybe we are dating ourselves, but if you could just set the table for us, what does it mean to date smart? Because I have my own idea about it, but it might not be what the person next to me thinks. So smart dating means knowing who you are and what you need versus what you want mm -hmm. in a relationship, right? And so, and to set that stage, 48% of adults in this country are single. It's 118 million singles. So if you're sitting here watching, thinking I'm the last single person on earth, I swear you aren't. And now when we talk about smart dating, remember we aren't taught to date, right. unfortunately. That's my end goal in the world is to teach people how to date and find partners, right? We don't know how to pick people. We don't know how to date. The first thing we're going to do is slow things down because mm -hmm. dating is a marathon. It is not a sprint, everybody. That's right. That's right. I remember my mom telling me that her mom said, oh, you'll meet your future husband at church or you'll meet him at the grocery store. And that to me felt very outdated. So how do you know when you're not dating smart what are what are some of the red flags so if you're always saying to yourself oh god i always attract the mm -hmm. wrong people there's a sign on my head that says if you're a bum <laughs> come to me if, if you're the one who's always ghosted cheating on you've got a bad pick or you're accepting the wrong people right. you're not attracting to the wrong people and if anybody comes on and you're susceptible, it's too fast, too furious, they're love bombing you. That's the signs of big red flags. And anybody who in their online dating profile yep. says, I'm not looking for any drama. No, Beware. they're looking they for drama. They cause you drama. People, they are the drama. That's, people tell on themselves all the time. I don't want a long distance relationship. You actually do want a long distance. I agree with you. People tell on themselves all the time. But you talk about dating apps to me, I've never done a dating app. I know plenty of people who have, and I hear, oh my gosh, I saw his picture, and then we went on a first date, and I was like, are you kidding me? So how do we date smarter on these dating apps? Well, first of all, to that point, never agree to meet somebody in person until you've done a video date, okay? So, because all the apps are in COVID built in video functionality, but only beyond one to two dating apps at the same time. Sometimes people come to us at Smart Dating Academy, they're like, Bella, I'm on seven apps oh my God. and I can't figure it out. I'm like, you have dating ADHD. How can you focus <laughs> on anything? Just pick one or two and you have, have, have to have good photos, right. but photos that look like you. Right. And the photos should be no more than one year old. Get rid of the photos of you it, with your seven bridesmaids in blue <laughs> dresses where we have to play Where's Waldo. Right. Gentlemen, get rid of the photos with dead animals and the shirtless selfies from oh the gym. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I could go well, on I'm sure you've that. I'm sure you've seen it all. So, so, so for the dating apps, post a picture that's current and, and do a video, do like an audition a video audition before you decide to go meet for coffee. I never thought of that. Oh yeah, do five to six good photos, headshots and body shots, high res that look like you and dress up in your photos. And yeah, video is an amazing way. Do a happy hour, do a drink, do a cup of coffee, over five to five Zoom, thirty, put boundaries time. around it. Get a high res photo. I like that. She's, she means business here. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a, I live and die by the Paris filter. Filter or no filter? <laughs> no filter. All because right, unless well. you can be filtered when you right. show up to the gym, right. it's the first act of self-sabotage. But who doesn't love that Paris filter? That Paris filter, it fixes everything. Okay, we did the, the online, the app. What about the IRL, the in real life? What can we try to do to meet in person? I have a friend who will line up four dates on a Saturday and he meets three of them for coffee and of the three whoever he likes the best he will then meet that person for dinner that is that's wow. his and I'm like you must be exhausted what what can we do for this fella? <laughs> you know what hey, but slow it down dude no more than two dates a week we're again that's sprinting 
and we want to do marathon dating. And even if your friend is meeting people in real life, what he must be doing well are a couple things. Number one, everyone put your phones away. Okay, these devices that we have, our heads are down like yeah. this all day long. You can't see who's looking at you. And it's not creepy. Talk to people, look up, smile. Everybody wants to be engaged and don't worry about being that guy or that girl. Right. If you're not creepy, you're not going to come across as creepy. And if you now, let's say you're standing at a party yeah. and you see somebody who looks good to you, but you don't quite know what to do, make three seconds of eye contact <gasps> and smile. And smile. Okay. Now, if I could see you in studio, Marissa, I'd be like, ready? Let's do this. Okay. One, two, three. Then you can look away. Then you can look back. Are you okay? flirting with me, and Bella Gandhi? Flirt, I, I might be. <laughs> it's that yellow. It's that yellow. It's oh that my thing. God. Let's meet over by the Aperol Spritz cart. <laughs> you got it. I'm in. I'll be pink. You'll be yellow Fantastic. and we'll be perfect together. Fantastic. These are really helpful tips because I think there's a lot of re-entry after the past two years and people are still, people are trying to figure out how to be in relation to other folks. So this is very helpful. There's so much that's out there right now and dating during COVID changed things. Oh, yeah. So if you, you ch check out our podcast, there's a lot on there on the Smart Dating Academy podcast. Don't sit there in your own suit thinking I'm gonna be single forever. Love exists for you, right. I promise. Get psychotically optimistic about it. Oh my gosh, I'm psychotic and psychotically optimistic. I want you to you come are. back. I want you to come back on the show, please. We're gonna find love for everybody. Everybody, <laughs> let's do this, Marisol. Thank you so much. And you can learn more about Bella and Smart Dating Academy at smartdatingacademy.com. And you can also follow Bella on Instagram at smartdatingacademy. Psychotically lovely. I love it.